Hello, and welcome to the second edition of the Barney Cafe Partnership Sea Nettle Status Update Series. I'm Nina. And I'm Jen. And we're going to report to you the different things we found at seven different locations throughout the Barney Cafe this past week. We stayed at Anglesey Avenue in Ocean Gate, Longswan Creek in Palms River, Brooklyn Avenue Beach in Longswan, Shelter Cove in Palms River, and Windward Beach in Brick. We saw some interesting trends this week. For example, at Ocean Gate, where last week we found one sea nettle total, this week we found a, a total of 197 nettles. One of them, the largest nettle we found in our entire set of research over the past year, 17 centimeters in length, which is a little bit smaller than a dinner plate. We also found a lot of nettles at Lavalette, where last week we found about 20, this week we found about 69. So we think it's safe to say that the nettles are here to stay. Another interesting thing that we've noticed is that with an increase in nettles, we find an in a decrease in comb jellies. Those not true jellyfish that we told you about last week are a favorite meal for the nettles. So as the nettles come in more, we see less um, tinafores. Although we saw no nettles yet at Windward Beach and Brick, we expect to see some very soon with the warmer weather coming in. Yesterday we stained at two sites in Beachwood, both on the bay, Berkeley Island Park, and a new site Allen Road. Um, because Allen Road is our only sampling site with a grassy bottom, we found a lot of new species that we haven't seen yet this year, as well as more crabs than we found anywhere else so far. We found pikefish, which are related to seahorses, a few naked gobies, one juvenile pinfish, and some oyster toadfish. And even though we didn't find any nettles at either of those sites, it was still an interesting day. Next week, we will be start starting to deploy our barrier nets at Windward Beach and Lavalette. And stay tuned for a special update next week, where we tell you more about our barrier nets at these beaches. We look forward to getting into the full swing of our summer research. Uh, thanks again to the townships of Brick and Lavalette for their continued funding and support, as well as Ocean County Park and the other municipalities for their cooperation. For more information on our sea nettle research, check out the Barnegat Bay Partnerships website at bbp.ocean.edu. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.